Marcus Aurelius once stressed the importance of controlling your thoughts rather than letting external circumstances dictate your state of mind. Recognize this truth and you'll unlock inner strength. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by a cluttered mind, unable to make decisions or trapped in a cycle of overthinking? We've all experienced these struggles, endlessly replaying conversations, anticipating outcomes and grappling with countless what-if scenarios. Today, we'll tackle this challenge head-on with 10 practical stoic methods to overcome overthinking. If you're looking for ways to break free from this pattern and regain mental clarity, be sure to hit the notification bell and subscribe. Number 1. Creating a worry period. It's a common experience for us humans to wrestle with persistent worries that linger in the background of our minds, similar to the constant hum of a refrigerator, always there, sometimes barely noticeable but undeniably present. These worries can take over our thoughts at any moment, whether we're trying to focus on work, spending time with friends, or even when we're attempting to sleep. It's like our minds are a stage and these worries are uninvited actors who refuse to leave. Consider the wisdom of the Stoic teacher Epicurus. If you wish to be improved, be content to seem foolish and stupid. Though this quote may seem unrelated at first, it serves as a bold reminder to prioritize our peace of mind over succumbing to worry for fear of looking foolish or naive. Creating a designated worry period is a strategic approach to allow these concerns their time on stage, but only during an encore, not the main act. Choose a specific time each day, maybe 20 minutes in the afternoon, where you give your full attention to these worries. During this time, delve into your concerns, understand their roots, and perhaps write them down. What are you genuinely worried about? How likely are these scenarios and what can you do about them? This focused session often reveals that many worries are like shadows, seemingly large but lacking substance when directly confronted. It also teaches your mind that worrying has its time and place. It's not an all-day, everyday affair. Once the worry period is over, you move on, having given your worries their allocated time. By compartmentalizing worries in this manner, you regain control over your day. The goal isn't to completely eliminate worrying, that's impractical. Instead, by containing your worries, you reduce their impact on your life. This technique is similar to tidying your mental room, putting thoughts where they belong, and enjoying the peace of an organized space. You'll likely find that worries lose their power when they're not allowed to roam freely, making life feel a bit lighter and more enjoyable. Number two, shifting to gratitude. Our minds can sometimes trick us, leading us into a maze of overthinking. We dwell on what we lack, worry about potential problems, or ponder what we haven't achieved yet. This endless cycle can leave us feeling exhausted and unsatisfied. Overthinking often stems from focusing too much on life's negatives or what hasn't happened yet, overshadowing the good that's already present. Seneca once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This stoic wisdom urges us to change our perspective from scarcity to abundance, from overthinking to gratitude. The idea is to recognize the value of the present moment and the many blessings we often overlook when we're preoccupied with future worries. Practicing gratitude pulls us out of the rut of overthinking and firmly grounds us in the richness of the present moment where life is happening right now. To start this shift, acknowledge three things you're grateful for each day. They don't have to be grand gestures. Simple things like enjoying a cup of coffee, the comfort of your favorite hoodie, or a kind message from a friend will do. This simple practice redirects your mind away from overthinking towards appreciating what you already have in your life. 
By anchoring yourself in gratitude, you not only quiet the noise of overthinking, but also enhance your daily experience. Gratitude amplifies the positive aspects of our lives and gradually changes our inner dialogue from scarcity to abundance. Over time, this new perspective can change how you approach life's challenges. Seeing them as opportunities to recognize and appreciate the existing goodness in your world. This isn't just about feeling better momentarily. It's about building a foundation of contentment that can sustain you through life's inevitable ups and downs. Number three, envision your overthinking as external force. Overthinking can sneak up on you, much like fog rolling in unexpectedly on a once clear day. It often starts with just one worry or idea, but quickly grows, potentially throwing you off balance. In today's fast-paced world, inundated with information like hail in a storm, our minds get cluttered with thoughts of what if, what next, or what could have been. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher king, once stated that the quality of your thoughts greatly influences your happiness. Our first step in tackling overthinking involves seeing it as an external force. This isn't about treating your thoughts as enemies, but recognizing that they don't define your core identity. They are intruders, disturbing your peace. Imagine these intrusive thoughts as clouds passing over a mountain. You are that mountain, majestic and unyielding, standing firm as the clouds drift by. So, how do you repel these invaders? Stoicism advises us to observe without getting entangled, picturing these thoughts in a bubble and watching them float away. This mental exercise not only lightens their burden, but also reinforces the idea that thoughts are temporary. They can only disrupt your peace if you hold on to them and give them power. Practicing this visualization builds a mental reflex to detach and release these thoughts before they escalate. As you become skilled at distinguishing yourself from the onslaught of overthinking, it becomes clear that you are not merely the sum of your thoughts. This distinction acts as a shield, much like earplugs in a noisy crowd. It requires intentional and consistent effort, strengthening with daily practice. When you sense overthinking creeping in, pause and envision the thought as noise, superfluous and separate from your true self. By doing this, you not only protect yourself from overthinking, but also reclaim your mental space and peace, little by little. Number four, transforming thoughts into actionable steps. When overthinking hits, it can feel like we're carrying the weight of a huge boulder. Our worries seem as heavy as the whole world, trapping us under a thick cloud of our own thoughts. This isn't just something some of us experience. It's a common human struggle, especially in a world that expects high performance in every area of life, work, relationships, personal growth, and social standing. The pressure to excel can paralyze us with indecision and fear. To guide us through the fog of overthinking, Marcus Aurelius once said, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This deep insight forms the foundation of our fifth technique, turning overwhelming thoughts into actionable steps. When your mind is overwhelmed with worry or facing a complex problem, the key is to break it down into smaller, more manageable pieces. Ask yourself, What's the very next step I can take? Not five, 10 or 20 steps ahead, but just the next one. Acting on this single small step might seem insignificant, but it's a powerful way to combat overthinking. By focusing on one action, you shift your energy from worrying to doing. It's like untangling a big knot one small bit at a time. This approach doesn't ignore the complexity of your concerns. Instead, it helps you navigate through them with purpose and precision. The beauty of this technique lies in its simplicity and effectiveness. Each small step you take builds momentum, and as you progress, 
you realize that the boulder of worry has turned into a pile of pebbles crossed over one step at a time. This method teaches us patience, resilience and trust in our ability to face challenges head on. Suddenly, what once seemed overwhelming is behind you and the cloud of overthinking is replaced with a sense of accomplishment and clarity. Number five, taking control by redirecting your energy. Have you ever found yourself getting caught up in a spiral of what ifs and worst case scenarios, replaying the same worries over and over until you feel mentally exhausted? It's like having too many tabs open in your mind, each playing a loud video that you can't seem to pause. This mental juggling is a common experience in today's fast-paced world, where the constant pressure to keep up can lead to endless overthinking. Seneca, a wise Stoic, summed up a key insight. True happiness comes from enjoying the present without worrying too much about the future. This advice forms the basis for regaining control over your thoughts by redirecting your focus. Start by grounding yourself in the present moment. Focus on a task, no matter how small, and put your energy into completing it. This shift in focus helps pull you out of the whirlpool of future worries and brings you back to the here and now. The practical steps are simple yet powerful. Engage in activities that demand your full attention, like organizing your workspace, going for a walk, or diving into a book. By aligning your thoughts with your actions, you're not just distracting yourself. You're actively taking charge of where your energy goes. Stoicism teaches us to manage our thoughts rather than suppress them. It's about recognizing when our thoughts are unproductive and having the tools to redirect them. Think of it as exercising a muscle. The more you practice refocusing your mind, the stronger and more resilient it becomes. Overthinking, once overwhelming, can be tamed through deliberate action and being present in the moment, step by step. Number six, shifting your focus to effort. Overthinking often happens when our minds get too caught up in worrying about the future. What might happen, what could go wrong, and the endless possibilities of failure or disappointment. This constant looking ahead can make us fearful and unable to act as we obsess over what might happen instead of focusing on what we can do. Our society often emphasizes the end result, making us think that if we're not sure of the outcome, then the journey isn't worth taking. But a Stoic saying by Epicurus gives us a clear instruction, don't just talk about your philosophy, live it. Stoicism teaches us to concentrate on our efforts and intentions, rather than getting fixated on outcomes that we can't control. This doesn't mean we shouldn't set goals or aim for success. Instead, it highlights that the real value lies in how much effort we put in, the honesty of our actions, and the goodness with which we navigate our path. To use this technique, when you catch yourself overthinking about what might happen, deliberately shift your focus to the effort you're putting in. Ask yourself if you're doing your best, acting with good intentions and staying true to your values. This approach means being fully present in what you're doing, putting in the work and understanding that your responsibility ends with your effort. Focusing on effort frees us from the burden of overthinking, allowing us to be in the moment and give our best without worrying about what might come next. It changes our actions from just steps toward a goal to reflections of who we are and our commitment to what we believe in. With this change in focus, you realize that your journey isn't just a means to an end. It's a way of living with purpose. Each step becomes an achievement in itself, highlighting the inherent value of the journey. Number seven, embracing impermanence and practicing the art of letting go. Let's recognize that our minds often get stuck in a loop, replaying past events or worrying about the future. This is the territory of overthinking, where thoughts cling on longer than we'd like. It's a challenge that affects everyone, 
from students fretting about exams to professionals stressed over presentations or anyone struggling to sleep while their mind races. In the midst of this mental marathon, we can find solace in the words of Epicurus, who reminds us that those who fear death won't accomplish anything meaningful while alive. Though this quote may seem heavy, it speaks to the idea of impermanence, a key concept in Stoicism. The core idea is that everything, including our persistent thoughts, is subject to change. When we overthink, we often hold on to thoughts as if they're permanent fixtures in our lives. Embracing impermanence means understanding that thoughts come and go, they're not forever. This realization can offer hope when we feel trapped by overthinking. Practically, embracing impermanence involves cultivating a habit of letting go, a mental decluttering where you consciously release thoughts that no longer serve you. You can visualize this as thoughts drifting away on a river's surface or transforming into ever-changing clouds that eventually dissipate. This visualization not only brings immediate relief, but also deepens our understanding that thoughts are fleeting. Making this practice part of your daily routine can transform your relationship with your thoughts. It's not about forcing them out, but allowing them to leave. Letting go isn't giving up. It's an act of courage. A choice not to let unnecessary thoughts occupy your mind's free space. As you become more skilled at this, you'll notice a newfound mental clarity and calmness that was always there, hidden beneath the noise of overthinking. Embracing impermanence isn't just a technique, it signifies a shift towards a more peaceful and present way of living. Number 8. Seeking External Insight Navigating our own minds can feel like wandering through a maze, each turn leading to more confusion and overthinking. It's like trying to solve a puzzle where the pieces keep multiplying, leaving us feeling stuck in our thoughts. Seneca, known for his wisdom, wisely advised, consult your friend on everything, especially on those matters concerning yourself. His counsel may then be useful where your own self-love might impair your judgment. This simple yet profound truth from Stoicism suggests that seeking insight from outside ourselves can help break the cycle of rumination. In a modern context, this means turning to people whose opinions we trust and respect, whether they're friends, mentors, or experienced professionals. Sharing our thoughts with them serves two purposes. It helps us clarify our own thoughts as we articulate them, and it opens the door for objective feedback that we might miss when overthinking. This approach goes beyond finding practical solutions. It highlights the importance of human connection. When we share our burdens, they often feel lighter. It's not a sign of weakness, but a recognition of the collective strength we have as social beings. Let the wisdom of others guide you out of the shadows of overthinking. With each conversation, you'll find the puzzle becoming easier to solve, not because the problems are less complex, but because you're no longer trying to tackle them alone. Number 9. Gaining Perspective on Life's Canvas The storm of overthinking often brews when we get too caught up in the small details of our lives, losing sight of the bigger picture. Our thoughts get tangled in what-if scenarios, making even tiny issues seem overwhelming and draining our mental energy. Seneca once wrote, We are not given a short life, but we make it short, and we are not ill-supplied, but wasteful of it. This reminds us to think about how we spend our time wisely, as every moment spent overthinking is a moment not fully enjoyed. Stoicism encourages us to question whether our worries will matter in the grand scheme of our lives. To combat overthinking, we should step back regularly and consider our lives as a whole. Many of the things consuming our thoughts are temporary and won't matter much in the long run, when we feel overwhelmed by thoughts, we should pause and remind ourselves that life is short. We should ask if the time we spend overthinking is worth it in the end. Reflecting on the fleeting nature of life 
helps us prioritize what truly matters and cherish the present moment. This isn't about being sad or indifferent, but about appreciating what we have now and focusing on the things that bring us joy. It's a powerful way to ease overthinking, bringing our attention back to the present and reducing worries about the future. Instead of letting the impermanence of life cause anxiety, we should see it as an opportunity to live fully and embrace every moment with vibrant colors. Number 10. Embracing Voluntary Discomfort Our minds often get caught up in a whirlwind of overthinking when faced with potential discomfort or change. We repeatedly play out scenarios in our heads, trying to predict every possible outcome and prepare for any potential discomfort. This constant mental rehearsal can be exhausting, turning our comfort zone into a mental prison that holds back our growth, with overthinking acting as the relentless warden. Marcus Aurelius once said, The art of living is more like wrestling than dancing, reflecting the stoic approach of facing challenges head-on rather than avoiding them. Through the practice of voluntary discomfort, we can train our minds to handle uncertainty and reduce overthinking. This involves taking small, deliberate actions that push us out of our comfort zones, teaching resilience and adaptability. To incorporate this into modern life, start with something simple, like taking a cold shower, sleeping without a pillow, or choosing to walk instead of drive. Engage in activities that disrupt your usual routine and allow yourself to sit with the uncomfortable feelings that arise without judgment. This isn't about punishing yourself, but showing that discomfort isn't as scary as your overthinking mind makes it out to be. Voluntary discomfort has the paradoxical effect of increasing comfort with different aspects of life. By regularly stepping into discomfort, the unfamiliar becomes familiar and the mind learns to quiet down becoming less reactive to change and more focused on controlling your responses. This powerful shift in perspective not only reduces overthinking, but also builds a core of inner strength that remains steady amidst the ups and downs of life. You're welcome to express your thoughts on these techniques, or if you need help with anything else, feel free to let me know. Until next time, stay strong, stay stoic, and let the stoic winds transform your life.